Hey everyone, it's Asa here. Welcome to my channel. For this video, we're gonna do a Halloween design. Halloween is next month and I am so excited to just jump right in and do some crazy designs. If you guys have not seen last year's Halloween nail design that I did, I went all out. I set the bar pretty high for myself. I did some crazy designs and I am just super excited just to get back into doing some more crazy designs this year. For this video, is this is going to be um, a shining Halloween nail design. If you have not seen the movie The Shining, I'll insert some clips as I go and take you along, you know, my little mind, my process of what I was thinking. So yeah, let's just jump right in and get started. So I did go ahead and take off my nails for this video. I wanted to do it on myself. Um, and I found it pretty challenging, so probably for the other Halloween nail looks, if I want to go detailed and a lot of nail art, I think I'm going to have to use my practice hand because, you know, I was a little shaky for this video, but yeah. So anyway, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to use the extra long coffin C curve nail tips. Um, I'm going to glue them down with my base gel as I normally do using my rubber base gel and my UV lamp. Now for the actual prep itself, I did go ahead and prep the nails, but I do have a peel off base coat so that's why you don't you are not gonna see me um you know do the physical prep you know you know that good stuff so for this design i wanted to do a door nail i did this before and it was for a secret garden theme so what i'm doing is i took this full cover tip and i am measuring the length because the tip itself is a little bit longer than the tip that i have on if you have not seen that secret garden nail design go check it out because it was one of my favorites it was so freaking cool um so i go ahead and i cut them down to the length that i want and then i go over with my 180 nail file and just file the sidewalls a little bit over the surface and I do blend that tip in just a little bit not so much because remember I do have that peel off base coat for the full cover tip I do go on the inside and I etch that inside a little bit because this is where I'm going to at attach a door hinge and you'll see that in a sec so I'm not gonna do my dehydrated because I do have that peel off base coat but I do go in with my rubber base coat and I do add it to the entire surface and then I do a full cure for 60 seconds but if you were doing your nails normally you will definitely go in with your dehydrated to dehydrate your nail plates and then go in with your base gel and for the base gel you want to really scrub that into the surface of your nail to make sure you are making a really good connection pushing that product into those little grooves where you have fouled I decided to go in with True Nude. This is a hard gel. This is not a soak off. You do need to file this off. Um, and I started doing this, applying this to all of the nails across. Now this is where I kind of effed up because I wanted to attach the door hinge to that ring nail first. And I was watching a movie at the same time that I was doing these nails. So I was a little bit distracted, but I ended up doing the nails across like this true nude across all of the nails forgetting to even attach the door hinge but we make it work in the end <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead I'm gonna do one nail at a time cure it in between at least for 15 seconds before moving on to the next nail you guys already know you guys watched me a lot of times plenty of times do my nails but for those of you that are new I do like to add a slip layer first don't cure it i take a larger amount and then i float that on top once i'm kind of satisfied with the shape of it i do go ahead and i cure that in place if i feel i need a little bit more product let's say around the cuticle or trying to build up that apex i'll go in with another layer and do it like so and just cure it as needed but for the most part um i do a slip layer like i said um add a larger amount cure that in place and then move on to the next nail
So once I fully cured it, I do go ahead and I cleanse the surface with my nail cleanser, removing the inhibition layer, which is that sticky layer that's left over. Um, and then I go into filing. For filing, I'm using my 180 sanding, my 180 nail file. Um, I file the side walls first. I do try to get a crisp side wall as well as that free edge. Um, and then I go in with my drill. For the drill, I decided to go in with a medium taper drill bit. I'm using the medium taper drill bit at 20. 22,000 RPM um, and I'm going around that cuticle and just down the body of the nail making sure I have a you know nice clean surface no bumps no lumps none of that stuff um, and we're just gonna perfect the shape and then once I complete this I do go ahead and I buff over the surface with a white buffing black which I have linked on my Amazon storefront So for the design of the nails, I wanted to do, and I'm going to insert pictures um, so you can kind of see what I'm trying to do, but I do have to mix up some colors of my hard gel system. And, you know, I took the orange, the black, I think I took a little bit of um, like a yellow tone. I'm not really, I'll link it for you guys, but I ended up mixing up an like a deep orange color and i'm going to apply that to the pinky to the thumb and then for the middle nail i'm going to do a frenchie now for this this is going to be the base because we're going to do a in the movie the shining if you know the carpet um it's a geo a hexagon i can't even see it's a certain pattern that we're going to create for the nails like i said i'm going to insert a picture and we're going to create this so i used my hard gel system for the background of the nails and then you're gonna see me go in with a couple more colors trying to create that pattern I also pull out some of the nail reserve colors as well as some kawaii collections um colors i'm gonna link everything for you guys in the description and try to create this pattern this was hard and this is why i say i think i should have used my practice hand for this nail i feel so itchy my practice hand for this design because i felt like i was all over the place and i was trying to you know get the design how i want it but also show you guys what i'm doing but anyway after i did that orange color i do go ahead I cure it and then I mix up a couple more colors to create a brown color that I was satisfied with and this is where I start doing some line work and then you're gonna see me just try to create this pattern um, the best that I can it was confusing because I kept getting lines confused like what line goes where but I made it work and I pushed through it <laughs> Once I created all of the brown lining, I did go in and I filled in those hexagons with um, the red color and the red color I believe is the one is called BFF from Nail Reserve. And yeah, so once I completed that middle nail, I did go ahead and do the same thing to the pinky and the thumb nail. And y'all, this took so long. My hand was shaky. I was drinking coffee. I was watching a movie. I was multitasking. I was all over the place, but I made it work. And yeah, just made it work. <laughs>
for the pointer, I wanted this one to have the red rum wording on it. So I took that red a detail brush and I just like scribbled it on. And honestly, this did not need to be perfect. Um, it was pretty like you know it didn't need to be perfect at all so i was kind of glad all i had to do was just write the little red rum name but also i wanted to make it a little bit deeper and more dingy looking so i go in with a darker red i outline it a little bit and then you're gonna see me go in with some brown and i took the brown and i mixed it with clear just to get a dingy look to the nail and i just did the perimeter of that and i kind of scrubbed it in like i said just to make it look a little dingy and dirty and then and I just cured it in place and I was actually really happy with this nail. I started these nails extremely late so once I did this I did feel like I was gonna like go to sleep I think it was like 1 o'clock in the morning at this point or 1 30 something like that so I did go ahead and I put some shiny top coat just to like lock all the you know nails in and because I was ready to go to sleep I'm not gonna lie I was gonna finish these the next day but I don't know something told me just to try to keep pushing through you know I felt like I could continue because I knew the stuff that I had to do next was gonna take take long and I ended up pushing through it and I just completed the nails in one day for the ring nail you guys I wanted to do his face what is, is it Jack Nicholson that's not his name what is his name I don't know his name Jack somebody I'll link it <laughs> I'll insert his name but I wanted to do his face where he breaks through the door and you see his freaking scary face pop out looking for his wife trying to kill her so <laughs> I tried my best you guys to to create his face and I was like I said I'm gonna link I'll insert an uh, image of what he's supposed to look like it don't look like him but like I said I tried my best and towards the end I was laughing at myself like he looked he looked crazy it looked a little hurt but it does look like a person it don't look like him but it looks like a person <laughs> but I'm gonna just let you guys watch the process of me trying to create this man's face
once I did that, I did make sure it was fully cured for 60 seconds. And then I just added top coat. Um, so he, you know, no fuzzies will get stuck on him because there's still more I wanted to do to this nail design. But we're coming back to that full cover tip that is going to be the door that I want to do. Um, so I do go ahead and I scuff over the surface just to roughen it up so it has, you know, something to stick to when I apply my Builder Gel. Now, I did decide to go in with the True Nude, but after I applied this, I wasn't really... I wasn't feeling the color for what I wanted it for. So once I did that, I did go ahead, I cured it in place, and then I switched up and I did a nude color that I mixed up. I took some of the white. Um, oh, again, this is from my hard gel line. So this is a hard gel color. Um, so I just mixed a little bit of cream and white to make like a pastel light, you know, color for the door. I can't even talk. The camera was picking this up as white, you guys. I don't even know. Once I did that, I did go over the surface, just buff it a little bit smooth. And then, and I don't know why I did this. I, I don't know. It was late. It was like 2 something in the morning at this point. So the door, I ended up taking my brush and I started adding the rectangles to four rectangles on the tops and on the bottoms to create the door pattern, cure that in place. And then I do fill in the center of that with more rectangles. And honestly, I wasn't too happy at it at all. You couldn't even tell what I was doing. Clearly by this video, you can't even see what I'm doing because it's so freaking bright. I don't know. My exposure on the camera was like, I don't know. You're going to see me continue adding a different colors on top more browns just to kind of give it a little bit more depth and dimension so you could kind of see the shadows of it i did go in with some clear and a brown mix those two together to get it again like a dirty color and i went over and i did a quick little wash i want to call it on the surface so you could kind of see you know that it looks like a physical door <laughs> but yeah, I tried. I tried. I do go ahead and I cure that in place when I was completely satisfied with it. So for the door itself, I wanted to have an axe coming through it. Um, so I do go ahead and I take some of this molding. What do you call this? Um, carving gel. What is wrong with me? Oh my God, it's not even that late right now. I take some carving gel and I create an axe. Um, I do go ahead and I add the handle for it as well. Once I finished doing that, I did go ahead and cure it in place. And then I just colored it in with some nail polish. But you're going to see the axe ends up breaking off. You don't even see the axe in the ends, like the handle part. So freaking annoying. Because um, at this point, I think it was like 2.30 in the morning and I was frustrated and I wanted to get these nails done. But right now, I just painted the handle. I painted the axe silver with some gel that I got from Model Ones. And then, you guys... This is where you could tell my brain was not working properly. I wanted to physically break the nail. So in the movie, the actual door is broken by the, cause he's trying to break through the door to get to her using this ax. So I decided to let me break the nail and put the ax in the nail. So this is me struggling with a, an exacto knife don't do this because you could definitely hurt yourself i do not recommend you see me here struggling with this freaking exact one i am so glad i did not hurt myself doing this but i ended up getting this open to how i wanted it to look i took some tweezers to get that little crack open and then i shoved that little axe inside and this is where the axe handle breaks i guess the pressure for me trying to fidget with it place it how i want it the axe handle you don't even see it anyway so it didn't really matter but I ended up going in and I cured that in place with my base gel. And look, I mean, I reckon it ended up working out in the ends. But this is me trying to see how it'll look on the nail. Such a struggle, I swear. Now, since I didn't attach the hinge yet, I decided to go in and attach it to the bottom of the nail, the underneath side. And you see my big old head there because I couldn't see what I was doing. I almost forgot I was recording for a second, but I attach it to the underneath side and then I did secure it with more of my rubber base gel. And I specifically wanted it in the bottom because I didn't want it on top where it was covering his face. Like that kind of made no sense and it'll kind of take away from the design. So I did that. Once I cured that, 
that in place. I did the same thing with the door itself, attaching it to the inside, adding my base gel, and you can see right here. And the lamp that I have, my lamp, is amazing because you can twist it however which way you want. So this is the lamp and you can twist it and bend it in any direction and it is just so useful. I had these on my website at ljmpro.com. So this is what the door looks like. Loving it, but I hated the inside. So I wanted to go in and make it look bloody because I couldn't really think of anything else to do. And at this point, I wanted something quick and fast just to cover that inside. So I took some, some black. I took some of the red, which is both my hard gel collection colors. Um, and I just painted that inside and I mixed them too, just so it looked a little bit like a dark, dingy, bloody red inside. And I did go ahead and I cured that into place. So I wanted these nails to be matte. So I did go in with my matte top coat and I started top coating all of the nails. I even top coated the door itself. I just felt like these nails needed to be matte. Um, and I did go ahead and I did a full cure for 60 seconds. So for this middle, so for this middle nail, she was looking kind of empty. So I decided to do some blood drip. Um, towards that cuticle section i was gonna add bling but i don't think bling would have been appropriate for this design i don't know i just felt like it would have just been out of place if i would have added bling you know i did go ahead i cured that in place and then i took a little bit of black and just started highlighting around the sides just to give it a little bit of shading and once i did that i did go in with some shiny top coat and i also did a shiny top coat on the red rum only the red the blood Parts, and I did a full cure for 60 seconds. And this is what the nails are looking like, you guys. Like, let's open the door. Let's open the door. Ew, look at his ugly face. <laughs> yeah, I tried with his face. I tried. If you know the movie, you know he tries to break through the door. Well, he does break through the door with the axe. And I really wanted to have a door opening to see his scary face. And his face looks hella scary here. It doesn't look like him, but you guys get the idea, right? Let me know what you guys think of this design. Like I said, if you have not seen the movie, go check it out. It's a classic, The Shining, one of my favorites. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions. Also, if you have any suggestions on what kind of other halloween nail designs please go ahead and just dm me any kind of ideas as well or just leave a comment below and yeah this is the first of i don't know how many i'm gonna be able to do for halloween but i hope a lot but yeah that is it for this video please subscribe to my channel don't forget to like and i will see you guys in the next one Ooh. <laughs>